Welcome to episode one of the Teacher Tech Revolution podcast. We're here to expand your knowledge on the use of technology in the classroom. And my name is William Parker, and I'll be your host on this adventure and learning how to use technology. In this episode, we're going to look at how to use VR in the classroom. I have a dream. Imagine being present at Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, or accompanying Neil Armstrong on the first moonwalk. It would be a lot more memorable than just reading about it. The answer to all this question is a technology that we can use today. It is VR. To help us use VR in the classroom, we're going to use a Google Cardboard device. Now this device can come from any retailer um, out there, such as Best Buy, or you can go to Amazon, um, and they have these devices readily available. Now they're also very inexpensive because they're made out of cardboard, uh, but the device is unassembled, so you have to open it up and typically follow the directions that are posted on the device to set it up. Um, the device that I got from Best Buy was already uh, pre-done except having to um, expand the viewer on the device. Now, once the device has been created, take your cell phone and go to your app store on uh, Google Play or even the iOS store and open up and find the Google Cardboard app. Uh, it's super easy to find. Um, in the store, but once you find it, go to the bottom of the device and scan the QR code to register your device to the app. Now, once you've got it set up, um, place your phone inside of the Google Cardboard device. Uh, typically, it's Velcro, or in some cases, um, it has a rubber band attached to it to um, hold the device inside of it. Right, let's look at how to get started with Google Expeditions. One, you want to make sure you have an iPad or Android device for the leader to manage the process. So it's the teacher or the facilitator of the expedition. Two, you either want to have an iPhone, iPod Touch, or Android phone for each participant that's going to have a VR viewer. Um, a lot of bring your own devices work very well for this, um, but also participants could actually use a tablet if necessary. One VR headset for each participant. This is actually optional since expeditions can be used iPad for the expedition for the student. Earphones for each participant uh, are needed if your expedition also includes sound for the description. Also, you want to have all your participants download the free expeditions app installed on all your devices. Then lastly, this is the big part. You want to have your Wi-Fi network that allows peer-to-peer -peer communication. Because without this connection, you as a leader will not be able to use your iPad to send out the expeditions to the rest of your students. Now, let's go to look at all the different expeditions that we can choose. So now we can look at the directory of all the Google expeditions that exist. Um, gives us information um, about what's going to go on during that. Um, expedition um, and other items as well and so if you wanted to search up just look up mountains and find different cool things about them so we could look up um, Australia or um, Canada's amazing northern national parks so let's go to Canada's northern amazing national parks with our class on your teaching iPad you want to go and open your Google Expeditions app that you've already downloaded. Now, when it comes up, you want to make sure that yours is in Guide, not Explore. Explore is what the students will be uh, when they use their VR devices. So let's go and find our item that we were looking for. So we're looking for Canadian Mountains. So we're going to click on the Canadian mountains now it's downloading to the iPad and so at this point you are ready to work with your students on the VR so now make sure your guide you're up here okay um, we are going to make sure that we are 
good to go on the items that we're looking for. And the students will open up their app and go to the Google Expeditions app that they have on their phones before they put it in the VR. The student has to find a guide on their phone. So let's do a quick roll to connect our floors. So we're going to connect to our website, connect to our internet, then we're going to make sure all our devices are open, make sure that their device is on the internet for the school, then we're going to ask the explorers to join. On your teacher iPad, it has information that you can uh, deliver to your students. Um, it can, uh, you can point out certain objects uh, that it will direct their vision to um, and make them um, understand or you can discuss how to do different things. Now, as you go through your device or on your device and you uh, click through the um, uh, click through it, it will allow you to change your items as you go through. So, it's a great tool uh, for you to uh, teach with uh, your biology classes or your uh, geology class or any class that studies biomes, earth, and earth environmental science. It gives you a lot of tools to be able to look and um, understand a lot of places that students can't go. So it creates that um, piece that we all want to strive for in our classrooms, especially for those students that cannot get to the same places that other students can. Thank you for joining us on the first episode of the Teacher Tech Revolution podcast. Please subscribe to the channel so you will know when our next episode comes out.